and Captain Chad Kinney, owner operator, Bam Bam Charters here in Port Mansfield, Texas. We got Laguna Madre baits and tackles behind us. My buddy, first mate, Captain Daniel Contreras is here filming this. So we're gonna give you a quick update on a fishing report down here, which is awesome. Uh, we have perfect weather the last couple days. We didn't make a pretty little trip, photo trip, but we sure went deep. We went into snapper fishing. We did everything else. Show you a few products and everything else. So some good stuff to help you through the winter. So starting off with the first thing, fishing was phenomenal. It was great. Out deep, nothing was going on. The water's a little too cold. The shrimp boats out to 50, 60 miles wasn't happening. Guys, uh, so the fish weren't there. Bait wasn't there. I haven't been to the floater, Perdido, Boom Bang, all that stuff like that. Um, we'll be looking at that here probably in the next month or so. But coming back in, into the uh, state waters and stuff like that. State waters is open right now. Four per person per day, Texas state waters. That's nine nautical miles from the beach. You can run 30 miles north, 30 miles south. Anything inside that nine miles is, is good to go. We've been doing really good on that stuff. It all depends on currents, tides, um, and the, the quality of the water, stuff like that. And so you gotta kind of plan your trips on that stuff. So to help you out just a bit, we got some good stuff. We got some Eagle Claw hooks, which we've been using. These are 10 knots. And the reason we've been using these, you know, I don't know if Gila can get into that. So it's a circle hook, of course. You have to use these for snapper. You can't use J hooks anymore or anything else like that. But these things have a great hook set, sharp, but they're also got a bigger eyelet. So we currently use Momoi 150 pound, which is really easy. You even get a double knot through there, you can slop it through pull it tight, it's all good like that. So 150, and the reason we want to use 150, everybody kind of asks me once in a while, they want to go lighter to 60 to 80 and stuff like that. Well, one, snapper have a good gill plate. When they turn sideways, they cut your line off. So make sure tight, long enough lead or one. And then two, once you go to 150 is a magical number we found. It's good enough to tie, it's good enough. But the main thing is when you do a wrap to take those fish up out of the water, to get them into the boat, they won't slice your fingers or cut you everything else through there. And also, it does the same thing with the abrasion on the red snapper, so you'd be good to go with that. And that's the best thing. Next thing we'll do is we're attaching a bank weight. These are just 10 ounce bank weights. We try to go light as possible. It all depends on current. If you go to 16 ounce, 24 ounce some days, when the current's really ripping, we might have to go that high. Today, we're going down to 10 ounce singles and we're perfect because we had flat days and two days behind a big northern. It's gonna start blowing again tomorrow, so we're gonna change up our game plan as soon as the sea gets calm enough to get back out there. So definitely use bank white in wintertime, summertime, completely different. Y'all can watch an inside report and get updates on that stuff. And then also going to r, &R Tackle. So these guys make some pre-rig stuff, which is really cool. I used to make some of these stuff like that, but nothing as good as they make. So they got some deep drop rigs. You can use some tile fishing, snapper fishing, gripper fishing. Um, Pre-rig, just they're, they're really nice. You can see they got the glow, glow on them. This is a five aught right here, and this works perfect. This stuff's rigged at least I can feel at least with 200 pound right here, minimum. Everything's quality the whole way through. This is a five hook rig, and this stuff. Now we don't use it for snapper fishing too much because you don't want to drop and be done in one drop. Which if you come down here to Port Mansfield, it's going to probably happen. So we use some single double hook rigs. So this stuff is great for tile fish and everything else. We move up to make them up to 10 knot and stuff like that. It's great for some bigger stuff. When you get down to higher tensile strength, two grouper, two snappers, some bigger stuff. This works perfect. And also, they also do make speaky rigs, which is money. If you wanna go catch your own bait fish, go to the rigs, go out some structure, oil, oil structures and stuff like that, catch hard tails, you know, bee liners, stuff like that. Work all that, get some fresh live bait. Today we caught a few Spanish mackerel, which is kind of rare. Water temp's about 64 degrees right now. It's about 75, about 50 miles. Like I said, deep one's still happening there. So it's pretty much off until Wahoo season, which I'll keep you in touch. Maybe it might hit in February, March through there. Depends on, on water stuff. But in the meantime, what you can do is make sure we're sitting here on my 46 birch from outside. Like I said, is do maintenance on your boat. Um, we just got back in. I'm filthy, dirty. Um, but salt, uh, Starbright here makes salt off. They make a ton of products. They got some rust removers. They got everything else you can think of. And this thing, I'm just gonna buy another one, but we use it in our engine room. We use it on our, our reels, tackle and stuff like that. It's, we got the highest salinity pretty much, I think, in the, in the nation, as far as the bay down here and offshore. And it, it just does an amazing job on the product right there. Definitely do that, do all your maintenance. 
and we'll keep you in touch with the next report going on. We'll be snapper fishing all winter long. We'll be hitting the Wahoo season when it gets here, let you know what that happens, and we'll keep you posted.